One of the most exciting things for me in my life are those moments, those very rare moments in which I feel this excitement of an idea that will have consequences for my writing, my painting, for my living, for my perception of other people. It's when you get a gift and you know exactly what you're going to do with it. My artistic process is maybe a little different from a lot of artists. I like ideas and I begin with an idea that will then give birth to words, it will give birth to uh, images. My inspiration to paint usually comes from what I read, what people have told me, what I observe. As an example, I'm reading Freud on narcissism. It suggests to me this wonderful idea of an individual looking at himself in a body of water. So then I feel what sort of medium should I use? And in this case, I love watercolor, watercolor. So from Freud to the idea of the myth to the sensuous treatment of water all becomes certain steps in the evolution of what I want to do in this particular instance. I like presidents because they have power, but they have to dissemble and pretend. I love the idea of presidents being heroic, and yet we're all fully aware that they're very human and highly flawed. Last year, I made my first film, Dick and Jack. It's a story of Richard Nixon and Jack Kennedy and their relationship to their fathers, Frank Nixon and Joe Kennedy. I hoped the film would be funny and also serious, Funny in the sense that it would be rewriting history in a comic way, incorporating characters who really would never behave the way that they are behaving. On a serious level, getting us to explore our relationships with our own fathers. I just finished a book that I've been working on for about three years called Sleeping Presidents, wherein I invade the dreams of our 43 or 44, depending on how you count them, uh, presidents of the United States. The premise of the book is based on an observation by Walt Whitman, who said that we are more fully ourselves when we are asleep. How we dream is a revelation about who we are. So if you can invade the dreams of sleeping presidents, you will know more about who they really are than if you were to listen to them in their waking moments. I've been living here on 58th Street, which is a former dance hall and restaurant for five years. I have been looking for a long time in New York City, which is a kind of contradiction, to find a space that's large, light-filled, that has good energy. I came here and became very quickly at home. I'm interested in the impact of the spiritual on the physical. I think spirit only can be manifest through the physicality of life. I feel some of the birthday parties that Jackie Onassis used to have here in this space. Uh, I was never invited to these parties, but uh, I feel the energy still. It's energy as like a remnant or like a residue from the past. My evolution in New York City has been very important to me. This city is important to me because of its contradictions, its combativeness, its focus. This is a place where I think you can fulfill your vision. I am less influenced by other painters than I am by artists in other fields. And so New York is the preeminent place to encounter the work of and to meet the artists in other fields. And this is a good reason for me to be here. I'm very positive about life, and it's the power of ideas that have caused me to be happy or to be responsive to life, even when I perceive that it's dark. This is the best time in my life because, for me, my life is cumulative. It has been growing and evolving. I would hope that people would see the original works of art in some quietude.
I hope they would love me through my work.